explain. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. Answer my question. Do you want to speak oh, about oh. both of them at the same time? Or do you want to, do you want to, no, the reason why it's going to be difficult, look, look, I'm not here to be interviewed, I'm, if you want to speak, in a that's what it means, yeah, I'm, I am interviewing if you, want, if you want to speak in a free speech corner, it's a conversation, sure, so you ask my so, question, so you don't find it's going to confuse the subject, no, I don't, scribes, scribes, names, names, Zaid bin Thabit, that's it? No, there's about 50 scribes. Do you want to name them all? Okay, give me 10. Hmm? Give me 10. 10? So I have to give them names from, from Google Story? It's difficult. We have 50. No, 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 no. We can give you, we can give you 50 names of the scribes. But, no, no. What I'm saying is, what you're doing is now, what's the relevance to this question? If I give you 10, and then what? But then you'll, you'll answer my question. What is, what is what? I do, but what? what no, no, what is the relevance? Well, if, it's, a, it's a question, and I want you to. No, no, I want to know what's the relevance. Yeah, because no, I want to. Can't are you. A question with a no, no. Question. Are you learning something from me? Yes, I am. Yes, right. Go ahead. Hmm? Okay, that, that's fine. So if I give you now. Hang on. Okay. Names of the scribes. Will you accept it? Okay. And then, and then, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you again. The concept of God that you believe in, in the Bible, you said it's logical. Right. So, while I am going to give you the exact names of the scribes, I don't want to mispronounce them, so that it's better for you to learn. Think about, think about my question to you. How do you believe the concept of God, as depicted in the Bible, is logical? Okay? So think about it. You can answer if you want, at the same time I'm looking. Okay, there you go. If he pulls out the 10 scribes, so we accept it. Next time. If he pulls out the 10 scribes, we accept the scribes. Yeah? But that's fine. Okay. okay. Because say you're going to accept it. Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman, Ali. These are the people who write the Quran. These are 10 of the 50. Wait a second. You asked me, you asked me, the people who scribed the Quran, who wrote the Quran, right? So I gave Zaid bin Thabit, and you said you needed more. So I'm offering you more. Okay, right? good, yeah. Okay. So, Amr bin al-As, Ubay bin al-Kab, Abdullah bin al-Arqam. Do you want more? I said 10. How is that? 5? Did you, did you count? Yeah. Okay. okay. Count again. And then, then, of course... No, no, no. I've already asked, I've already asked you the question, right? Okay. Okay. So, okay. so count, counting... Excuse me. I want to hear the lies. Come on, let's hear. So let's was that lies? Nice? The scribes that you said. Are you a man of integrity? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Are you a man enough? Yes. To have a discussion ask, rather than rather question. than saying I want to hear the lies. I am I going lies. to am I going to think you you are lying? Okay, so you're not I would pretend, I would I'm say you are not ten. lying. I would give you the benefit of doubt, saying you're speaking the ten, truth. Please. Right. Count in your hands. Abu Bakr al Siddiq. Right. I can count in my head. Okay. Omar bin al-Khattab, Uthman bin Affan, Ali bin Abi Talib, Zubair bin al-Awwam, Amir bin al-Fakhaira, Abur bin al-As, Umay bin al-Kab, Abdullah bin al-Arqam, Thabit bin Qais. Right, so the question I asked you, how do you square the circle of the belief of God in the Bible, which consists of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit? Do you believe in that concept? Right. Do you believe that this concept makes sense? Yes. Okay. Is the Father is the Father God? Father is a Trinity. Remember, it's three in one. It's not the Father God, the Holy Spirit God, the Son God. It's three in one. Three what in one what? Sorry, three three what in one what? Three people who make up the Spirit of God. Okay. So let me see if I understood it. There are three people or three persons in this one God. Each person, like the Father, like the Son, and the Holy Spirit, is each person fully God? When you say part of God, they're not 100% God then. So one third. So, so the Father is one third God. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit make up God. So the Father is one third God. You're not listening. I'm telling you. You said one third. So you say the Father is a third of God. They are one. They are three in one. No, no, they are one when you put them together. But individually, individually, 
They are not 100% God, is that what you're saying? I want to know and learn from you, is the Father 100% God with all the divine qualities? God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three in one. Okay. Why don't you may I may I just rephrase my question so that you can actually teach me something today? The Father, the Father within this Godhead, is he fully divine, possessor of all divine attributes and qualities? Right. So that makes him fully God. So so very good. So now, my friend, now we have a different understanding. It was initially, initially third, third, third. Now it's fully, fully, fully God. No, 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 no. I understand what you believe, but I want to know how you make that logically coherent. Because I read the Bible, I read parts of the Bible, and I believe it. Look, according to the Nicene Creed, the Father is God. Do you believe in the Nicene Creed? Do I believe in the Nicene Creed? I don't think I've read it. No. Okay, okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. The Creed goes like this. The Creed goes like this. The Father is God. The Son is God. And the Holy Spirit is God. The Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Father. The Son is the Holy Spirit and so on, right? They're not three gods, but they're one God. That's what the Creed says. But I, I want to know how each being God and not identical to each other they are not three gods, but one God. How do you make that logical? Remember you said logical? How do you make that logical conclusion from the premises that you have that three gods is one God? To give you an example, Steve is a man, you are a man. Are we sure? Okay. What's your name? David. David, you are a man. Steve is a man. Don't bring me into this. Okay, character. what's your name, brother? Robert. Robert. Robert is a man. David is a man. Robert is a man. Mansoor is a man. As a man right? <laughs> yeah? David can be a woman tomorrow, right? That's what he's saying. No problem. So, we share what we call the humanity or being human. The essence of being human. So, how many mans are they? One man? Two men? Three men makes three men, right? We are three men. Not remember, one man. Remember, we're not gods. Remember yeah, the concept. Difference, like, yeah. The yeah. difference between God is divine. So what makes him God, right? So if you have one divine, another divine, and another divine, can you tell me logically why is that not three divine, but one divine? Because God made it so. God made three. In God God works in mystery. Remember you said. You know, you know, remember you said your belief is logical. Now tell me how is it logical? No, you didn't explain how this is logical. You can, you can. But can you can you once again? Can you can you once again? Why are there no women? Yes, let's bring the women into it. The, there is a whole chapter of the Quran called Maryam. So you are mistaken. So you are mistaken. Firstly, look, one moment. Firstly, firstly, you asserted in all being wrong. May I, may I, may I just answer what you've just said? Remember, David. Are there any more? David. You asserted. What's your name again? Mansur. 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 David. Are there any women? Okay. The I, I, let me finish the first answer that you asked me. You said, David, are there any women in the Quran? Yeah. Insinuating, thinking, assuming that the Quran doesn't talk about women. So I give you a name, now you want more. So your yeah. original yeah. assumption was wrong. More, your original there assumption there is, is more. There is only one woman made the Quran. No, no. Why is it there more? No, no, no. Know it's only Mary. So, so Mary. I what, what I fail, what I fail to understand from you is how is the belief of three gods? I'm not answering the question of the question. I'm going back to the original question. Steve, be fair. I am going back to the original question. Remember, why are there no more women in the Quran? Listen. Why? Okay. Answer a question with a question. 
question because you have to try you to said, control the conversation. You said we shouldn't bring you in. Hang on. Keep it coming at. Uh, do you want to be? You can't do you want to be in the conversation? No, I just want you to right. answer. Right. So keep quiet then. Thank you. Right. Right. So David. David. Answer my question. I am. I am. Be patient. Patient, David. Listen, David. Question. Answer. David, listen. You started by saying your belief is logical, then I wanted to know, hang on, because we haven't finished with the first question. We finished yourself off. No. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So tell us how are three divines, three, no, same question. I would like you to explain to the people and to me, firstly, listen, David, how are the three divines one logically? Because it's in the Bible, and I believe the Bible. Oh, that makes it logical. Answer my question. How is that a logical conclusion? Why are there no women apart from Miriam mentioned in the Quran? Why are there no more women in the Quran? There are. Name them. Hang on, there are. So if you didn't know, park your question for a second. One moment. One moment. So now we wait a second. Now we have your response to the logical problem of Trinity, if you didn't know what it was, it's called the logical problem of Trinity. And the way you solved it, hang on, I'm explaining. The way you solved it is by saying, the Bible states it so. That makes it logical. So if I give you a book which makes illogical statements, and because it says so, it must be logical. Do you follow so far? Would you agree? Are you gonna answer my no. question? No, would you agree? Just because a book says so, it makes it logical. Is that a logical inference that you can no, take? No, but it's not the Bible, is it? I'm talking about the Bible. No, yeah, but you're talking about any book. No, no uh, not, any, not any book. What makes the statements so in the Bible logical question. when... So same, same question. question. Same question. Same question. Same question. You've gone on to another question. Same question. Answer okay. my question. Does why that sound logical no more, to you? Why okay. are there no women in the Quran? Uh, thank you, David. Why you now, you does, it sound, on, does it sound logical? Logical to you, the three divines are one divine just because the Bible says so. Does it sound logical? Right. So, if this is the very basis of what makes logical, I have no interest in talking to this gentleman anymore. That's why I'm saying, and you seem to be a logical person. Right. Thank you, David. Control it. There is no point discussing it. I explained to David all of this. Thank you. Run away. Bye bye. They're guides. I've read the guide that tells them.